We will talk about glucomannan. Glucomannan is supplement. It is derived and extracted from plant which is called konjac or elephant yam. Glucomannan is well known for its ability to help for weight loss. Its main characteristic is absorb lots of water. So it can absorb lots of water and create gel-like structure in the gastric and it causes sense of fullness and decrease appetite and person intakes less calories and it helps for weight loss. Also it uh, helps to increase satiety, reduce sense of hunger and in the blood it increases glucagon like peptide 1 and cholecystokinin they are um, hormones which increase satiety. So glucomannan is well known for its ability to help weight loss. There is several meta-analysis and in most meta-analysis result is consistent but in some meta-analysis there is very uh, very tiny and insignificant weight loss around 0.2 kilogram uh, weight loss and it's not enough so we can question glucomannan's ability on weight loss but but in many cases it really helps that's why it's so popular second important characteristic of glucomannan is it helps people with diabetes and insulin resistance why it happens because glucomannan creates this gel-like structure and it traps fats and carbohydrates and bile acids and it prevents from the absorption and even we eat carbohydrates and fats they are not absorbed because of glucomannan and it decreases blood cholesterol level it decreases LDL level which is called bad cholesterol and it decreases uh, fasting blood glucose level also so glucomannan helps diabetes and insulin resistance because it prevents absorption of fats and carbohydrates also glucomannan is prebiotic prebiotic means that it helps to uh, promote growth of beneficial bacteria glucomannan is soluble dietary fiber it means it's ground for growth of bacteria, especially bifidobacteria and lactobacilli, which are beneficial bacteria. Uh, to say truth, glucomannan is not very strong prebiotic. There is much stronger prebiotic, such as fructooligosaccharides or inulin, and glucomannan is not so strong because only limited part of bacteria can grow on glucomannan, but it has also advantage. It means that it does not cause produces gases and bloating and usually glucomannan is well tolerated. Now there is question that what is the best dosage of intake of glucomannan? It's around 1 to 4 grams per day with lots of fluids, plenty of fluids. Uh, at least one glass of water, one full glass of water. It's very important part because glucomannan has important limitation. It's risk of choking because if you intake powder, glucomannan powder or tablets without capsule uh, and without water, it can expand uh, in the throat and it can uh, it, maybe it not uh, reach to stomach and starts expanding in the throat and it can cause choking that's why it's very important limitation of glucomannan that's why it's not recommended to intake glucomannan powder and tablets only capsules are recommended and with plenty of water it's must you should remember that you need plenty of water with glu glucomannan and it's better if you intake it 
before meal because it decreases um, it decrease hunger increase satiety and you will eat less and if we compare glucomannan to other dietary fibers we can say that it's importantly impact on blood glucose blood cholesterol and appetite it has important this metabolic car characteristics and for example psyllium and cellulose which are insoluble dietary fiber they add bulk to stool and pro promote beneficial bacteria and promote uh, stool formation but they have no this metabolic effects like um, lower blood glucose level lower cholesterol lower appetite they only uh, act locally so glucomannan is important because it has metabolic activity also it has prebiotic activity and its prebiotic activity as we said is not very strong um, and fructo oligosaccharides and inulin are stronger prebiotics but because uh, glucomannan is less fermented by gut bacteria and it's usually fermented by bifidobacteria and lactobacilli they are also beneficial bacteria but its glucomannan is not available for most of bacteria but it has also bright side and it says it is that less gas formation and less bloating which is important also now let's summarize glucomannan is uh, mostly mostly consistently effective for weight loss um, it shows consistent results sometimes these results are very small but still exist glucomannan is effective and helpful for people with diabetes and high blood cholesterol level and um, overweight people and who has insulin resistance also glucomannan is prebiotic but not strong prebiotic that's um, glucomannan's important characteristics but we should always remember main limitation and limitation is risk of choking and you should intake glucomannan with lots of water that's that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now